so Express LRS has been a hit as of recently, and it's probably gonna be the number one protocol going forward in the FPV world. So I've decided to jump aboard the Express LRS train. Today we have the beta FPV module. This one here is a good module to get started in that direction. And there's numerous reasons why I went with this one. Beta FPV is a well-known manufacturer. They have engineers and the design team to have this design pretty well and very simple. And most importantly, this module here is directly compatible with my radio. And that's a really good choice here. Um, I have a jumper T light. In the back, I do have a module bay. This module bay here was designed for a crossfire, but most of the Express LRS modules are designed similar to a crossfire uh, module anyway. So let's take a look at here. No unboxing that required. At top here, we have a beta FPV card, QC card, you just scan this and you get more information about the product. You have a user manual, pretty straightforward, a lot of pictures. And there's more info also on the website. Um, there's also a lot of forums out there about the Express LRS system, only because this is an open source system. One manufacturer doesn't control how it works and the ins and outs of the actual system. So although this manual is pretty cool, especially for the actual hardware that we have here, this manual here might be outdated by the time you get it, unless the, they actually update this throughout the manufacturing process because ELRS is changing every week. Uh, now we have here is the small antenna, this is the directional antenna, this one says 2.4G or 2.4 gigahertz. This does come in three different flavors. In my case, I do have the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, it also comes in a 915, which is specifically designed for long range transmission with a little bit higher latency. And then you also have the 868, which is made for uh, the European region. Uh, besides that, we have the actual module right here and a second antenna. So that's pretty cool that we have two antennas, two choices in case one uh, gets damaged. Um, this one here more looks like a traditional SMA antenna, like a linear antenna. And I'm sure it probably has a lower range or a shorter range just because it's omnidirectional. All right, guys, so I have the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, those seem to be the most popular since most guys don't fly kilometers or miles and miles away with the drone. If you're doing some long range uh, flying, you might wanna go with the 915 megahertz version. Um, let's take a look at this right here. Obviously it's a transparent package here. So it's white. I don't know why they went with the white color, but most of beta FPV's controllers have white in there. So it's understandable why they went with white. They could have gone with numerous colors, but I've seen most radios on the market is usually a dark gray or a black color. So it would have been cool if it was black to just kind of blend in with this, but it is what it is, it's not a bad thing. Now we have this protective cap here for the antenna, we just screwed it on, no big deal there. Um, looks like you have some kind of a heat sink, which is good, um, so this thing doesn't overheat. Now, as I said, uh, Express All Rest is a open source project, so you have other manufacturers doing the same thing here with different designs. Um, this is a nano version, well this is the only version that they make actually, and they make an adapter so you can put this into bigger bays and, and larger radios. But my point is this, they went with a heat sink, which is almost like a passive cooling. Some other manufacturers have gone with a fan in here and that's the active cooling. It might be better for cooling, probably better for higher power outputs, but at the same time that will lead to more power draw on your actual radio. Now this is a jumper to that pretty good radio, uh, but there's already battery or power issues with this radio. So this is another reason why I went with something like this which won't draw too much power. Now talking about power, this module here supports up to 500 milliwatts, which is pretty good. That may seem like a small number, especially considering some other protocols like say Crossfire can go up to a watt or two watts actually. But what you have to understand is the protocol Express LRS, it does provide a really good connection for the power output. So in sense, you can have probably a 250 milliwatt output, which is equivalent to something, something like a one watt output on a crossfire. So this is the Express LRS uh, system here by Beta FPV. They seem to be, in my opinion, as of right now, the leader in the system. Not only are they designing uh, parts for the Express LRS system, they're actually making drones with the option for Express LRS receivers in them. So if you're gonna buy a drone, a buy and fly drone, you can just click on the 
drop down menu and you have the option for an express LRS receiver. In fact, they're going further uh, to the point now where they're making flight controllers with express LRS built into it. So really good for tiny whoops, small whoops, and for larger drones alike. So uh, if that trend does continue, that would be a really cool option, guys. As far as the specs, I'm looking at some of the specs here on the screen. Uh, the packet refresh rate, meaning how often do you get the packets from your radio to your receiver. And that varies, especially if you get the 915 versus the 2.4 gigahertz. Now the 915, you get 200 hertz, which is not bad. And then if you get the 2.4 gigahertz, then it's up to a 500 hertz refresh rate, which is good for like low latency and getting the information to your drone while you're flying or probably racing. Besides that, the RFI, we talked about that, it goes from 100 to 250 to 500 milliwatts. Uh, most likely I'll be doing 100 or 250 with this uh, radio. You also have a USB port here and I'm sure that's being used for firmware updates um, and we'll be doing a setup right after this video. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I do drop that video. Uh, on the back here, it just shows you a lot of the ports here, the heat sink, we talk about the heat sink, the SMA connector. You have an LED light to show you different uh, information like power outputs. All right guys, as I said before, there's a lot more information on the Beta FPV website, especially for this model, but there are other forums and websites uh, talking about this in great length, guys. So I'll leave some links down below where you can find that. In the meantime, if you're interested about this Express LRS system and how to set this up. I'll be making a video right now how to set this whole thing up um, Not only with this radio here, but also the receiver as well and how to install those how to hardwire those and how to bind it and configure the whole system guys So if you're interested in that hit that subscribe button You'll be notified whenever I do drop that video But yeah guys if you have any questions about it leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching Peace